But wait, maybe it's possible. I have this nylon carbon fiber filament from Isun, and I think it stands a chance of working. So nylon carbon fiber filament is, as the name suggests, nylon infused with carbon fiber. Now nylon on its own is a really strong material and the added carbon fiber gives it increased hardness and layer adhesion. So if any filament has a chance of working, this one's it. Now your printer needs a couple things to be capable of printing this. It needs to get very hot, around 280 degrees Celsius, and it needs to be equipped with a hardened steel nozzle because carbon fiber will wear out a brass nozzle very quickly. To print this, I'll be using my stock Lulzbot printer, which is more than capable of printing this. So I modeled the socket based on this one and I gave it slightly thicker walls just to give it a fighting chance. So with this done, let's get to it. For this experiment, I'm gonna be using a torque wrench to set the torque. I'll start low and work up in increments of 20 foot pounds until we hit 100, which is the recommended specs for this car. So I've run into an issue where the socket's not clearing the rim. So I'm gonna switch wheels to one that uses these nuts and a special lock socket to take them off, which will fit here and it should work fine. I'm also going to start off by testing one made a basic PLA for comparison. So it seems like 80 is beyond the limit of PLA. It looks like it went, but the socket actually just rounded out and the bolt didn't turn. So your typical torque spec for a tire is between 80 and 100 foot pounds. This one is 100, but if it hits 80, I'm gonna call it a win. So let's try this one out. I think we're ready to go. Oh, I was expecting a little better, to be honest, but I think I'm going to try something else. So I've reprinted it and I'm going to try again in just a moment, but I think part of the problem was this lug nut key or adapter, whatever you want to call it. Now, first of all, it doesn't fit all that snug. And second of all, these heads are actually different sizes to accommodate different wrenches. But what that does is put all the pressure on this one small area. And I think that's what caused the crack. I got a new car to test on where the wrench will fit over the lug nuts without an adapter. 
So I reprinted it and I wrapped it in electrical tape because this is what happened to the last one. It violently exploded and I still can't find the other piece. So I'm hoping if it does explode again, the electrical tape will at least catch some of the fragments. And I'll be wearing safety goggles, which I should have been wearing the first time. I'm also just going to start at 80 because we already know we can get to 60. And I reprinted the PLA one just to be fair. <laughs> Got it. Okay, on to a hundred. This one's the really big one. Hundred. It's really awesome. It got it though. <sighs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> I had to get the pliers out to take it off, but there it is. It works. It's still in one piece. And once again, the PLA couldn't get past 80, and it just rounded out the socket again. So we did it. We managed to remove a tire using a 3D printed wrench, and I think that's pretty impressive. And I'm also pretty impressed with the PLA. It did surprisingly well. That was a lot of force on it. If you have any ideas for ways to really test this filament out, let me know in the comments. I have another video coming out soon where I test some really strong filaments in some fun ways, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.